Up next on Boring Gear Reviews, we've got the P. Isabella from Moth Electric. Thanks so much to Moth Electric for sending me the P. Isabella. All right, so Moth Electric is based out of Portland, Oregon, and they were founded this year in 2023. And their first release is the P. Isabella. This is a fuzz pedal based on the old uh, tall front green Russian muffs. But this has a really amazing expanded EQ, a clean blend, and a switch to go from classic and modern phrasing. Classic being uh, more compressed and a little lower output, and then modern being um, a little broader, way less compressed, and a, a little louder as well. For controls, we have tone, and counterclockwise will roll off high end, and clockwise will bring high end back in. Then we have a mids control, which I love in any distortion pedal. You know, guitars are mid-range instruments, so anytime I can boost the mid-range, I, I do. The sweep on this is very nice and super usable as well, and um, anything you know below 12 o'clock, and you're going to start cutting mids. So if you want that more kind of traditional scooped muff sound, you can get that here too. Then we have fuzz, which will obviously control the amount of fuzz or distortion in the pedal. Volume will handle the overall output of the pedal while it's on. Then we have a toggle switch, as I said, that controls the kind of voicing of the pedal. So to the left, you have C for classic, more compressed, a little lower output, a little um, fizzier sounding as well. And then to the right, we have M for modern, way more open sounding, uh, way less compression and a bit louder as well. And finally, we have the clean blend. Here you can blend in a little bit of your pre-fuzz signal and then all the way to completely uh, no fuzz signal at all. Oftentimes when fuzz has a clean blend, people say that's you know more so suited for bass, which it, it definitely handles bass very well. You can you know keep in your clean signal for note clarity and uh, still get a very thick fuzzy bass tone, but you can do really, really rad stuff with guitar as well, which I'm gonna show. For this demo, I'm going to be using my 1992 Orville by Gibson Les Paul Custom. And this has a Lawler Imperials, a high wind in the bridge, and a low wind in the neck. All right, so in this first clip, we're going to be going for a very big, uh, heavy fuzz sound. So we're going to be having the tone uh, around 1 o'clock, the mids at 3, and we're going to max the fuzz. Uh, volume will be just past noon. We're going to be using the modern setting, so uh, you know more open, less compressed, and then the clean blend will be completely off. So this is just the fuzz signal. One thing you'll notice is even though it's a very thick, aggressive fuzz tone, because of the way the EQ works, especially because you can boost mids, you can maintain a lot of really nice clarity and note separation. And you'll hear it when I start playing larger, thick chords. Uh, you hear everything all the notes are completely separated, even though there's this big wall of sound. And then I will roll the volume down on my guitar and you'll hear how well it cleans up. The way this cleans up is a sound I love. It sounds a little broken. There's still like a lot of edge and bite to it. And there's this kind of uh, failing or sagging tube sound. Uh, anyway, it's awesome.
Okay, in this next section, we will be running the P. Isabella as a very clean fuzz, so like a, a low gain, I guess. I'm going to have the tone maxed, the mids around uh, 1 o'clock. The fuzz is going to be completely off. All the distortion we're going to get is going to be from driving the volume knob. So that's the, kind of the, the first gain stage we're getting here. I'm going to keep it set at the modern setting, and then I'm going to turn up the clean bend just a little bit, so it'll be around 9 o'clock. The first section will just be the P. Isabella, and then in the latter section, I'm going to turn on the Death by Audio rooms. And here uh, it'll be, you know, just like a, a large digital reverb, but it'll be before the um, fuzz. So you'll hear the breakup of the P. Isabella uh, with the input of the reverb as well. So this is more of like a, a dirty overdrive. You're going to hear some of the aggression is going to come from the tone knob being maxed out, kind of that the sharpness and, and um, brashness of the high end kind of paired with the fact that there's no fuzz going on and the only drive is from the volume knob. Alright, in this next clip we are going for another big fuzz tone. This time we're going to be using the classic voicing. So a bit more compressed, a little more fuzzy. Our tone control will be set around 2 o'clock. We're going to roll back the mids to around 11, so just a little bit of a scoop. The fuzz will be maxed. We're going to keep the volume around 3 o'clock and then no clean blend. Because this is pretty similar settings to the very first clip, what you'll hear is the main difference being the switch of classic and modern voicing. So in this regard, you get you know kind of two pedals in one where you know this switch really does make a very drastic difference in the tone, and you can get great sounds out of both. <laughs>
right, and lastly, we're gonna start our chain with the Dark Star from Old Blood and Noise Endeavors. To see a full demo and review of the Dark Star, click the link up here. Here we're gonna be using the crush setting in like a lower octave, and we're gonna engage the reverb here as well. That will be going into the Chase Bliss Therme, uh, just running it as like a pretty standard analog delay. And then finally into the P Isabella. So here we're really gonna utilize the clean blend. We're gonna have it around four o'clock. Um, so it's just almost all the way on. Tone is at noon, mids are at noon, fuzz is just barely past noon, and the volume is maxed. So a lot of the distortion is gonna come from the volume, and we're gonna be running in the classic mode again. This allows you to create a lot of interesting textures with fuzz, where, you know, oftentimes people think fuzz is just one thing. Well, I just max the fuzz, and then I play loud fuzz stuff. And while you should do all that, that's super fun. When your fuzz has the ability to blend in clean tones or like another signal, it's a really good opportunity to create some really cool textures. So in this case, you're gonna hear the clean tone of my Les Paul along with the Dark Star and the Therme, but then behind that, underneath that clean signal, you get this uh, same signal, but super distorted. And in this case, it creates a very kind of lonely, haunting feeling that I really, really love. <laughs> All right, and that'll wrap up the P. Isabella from Moth Electric. I've talked about this before, but I'm always so amazed by all these new builders coming out with really great effects all the time. And this is no exception. For the first pedal, Moth Electric really knocked this out of the park. I highly recommend keeping an eye on what they're doing. Obviously, you can hear it sounds amazing. It's built really well, feels super solid. Powder coating is nice. I love this face plate. I love moths. Um, the uh, Top mounted jacks, top mounted DC, true bypass. Yeah, I, there's nothing negative to say about it. It's an awesome, awesome fuzz pedal. All right, if you enjoyed this demo, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really does help me out. I appreciate it. If you're already subscribed, thank you so, so much. We are nearing a thousand subscribers and I do have something cool planned. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and get on that. As always, links for everything I'm using in the demo will be in the description below. And until next time, peace.